Ice Cube and his wife Kimberly Woodruff have just celebrated three decades of marriage, and everyone's been wondering about the secret to their long-lasting relationship, and you'll never believe what Ice Cube recently revealed. O'Shea Jackson Sr., better known as Ice Cube, and his wife Kimberly Woodruff have been devoted to each other for over 30 years, which would be amazing and worth celebrating for any married couple. But what's crazy is that they have maintained such a strong relationship for so long in an industry that is notorious for testing relationships to the breaking point. But how have they done it? Well, even though Ice Cube has talked about his marriage to Kimberly in interviews, I think the first thing to say about them is that they actually haven't been all over our screens and social media over the years. I think that has to be a huge factor in their managing to stay together for so long. Even their 1992 wedding was apparently an intimate private ceremony, which seems to have set the tone for their relationship. They've always kept their family life very low key, and we actually don't know much about Kimberly at all. We see her at events supporting Ice Cube's career, sometimes with their kids, sometimes without. But what's insane is that I don't think she's ever done interviews or made headlines for any reason. But Ice Cube has shared how he feels about Kimberly and their life together. And and I actually think it's really beautiful, you guys. I mean, Ice Cube is the super famous entertainer and entrepreneur who is known for WNA and his gangster rap image from his early career. And yet, when it comes to his wife, Ice Cube has revealed a much gentler side to himself. And the love that he and Kimberly have just seems kind of adorable. But the surprising thing is that it wasn't a complete fairy tale romance from the beginning. According to Ice Cube, it actually seemed like it started out pretty one sided between them. He even admitted that when they first met in 1988, Kimberly wasn't really into him at all. Supposedly, Ice Cube and his friend T-Bone saw Kimberly on an escalator at Fox Hills Mall, and his first thought was that she could be his woman. Now, that definitely sounds like love at first sight to me, but Ice Cube recalls that Kimberly was in a relationship at the time, and he laughs when he tells people that she was not impressed by his advances back then. But he's also been so sweet when he talks about them finally getting together. He says this was around six months after they first met when Kimberly had gotten out of that other relationship. She and Ice Cube eventually ran into each other again and they both remembered each other. And after that, her feelings for Ice Cube slowly started to grow, so they began dating and basically haven't been apart since. Which I just love because it shows you that finding love is sometimes all about timing. So patience and timing played a huge role in how Ice Cube and Kimberly first got together. But then over the years, Ice Cube has shared details about how they've been able to keep the fire burning in their relationship. And it's sort of crazy how simple he made it sound. Then again, just because something is simple doesn't mean it's easy, right? Relationships often take a lot of dedication, even if some couples make them look easy. But with Kimberly and Ice Cube, things had gotten off to a great start as they dated for about three years before they got married. Ice Cube even embraced Kimberly's young song Darrell, who she had with a previous partner. And then the couple had their first child, O'Shea Jackson Jr. in 1991, the same year that Ice Cube reportedly proposed to Kimberly. Now, this proposal wasn't some crazy stunt like we've seen with other celebrity couples, but it was a huge huge surprise for Kimberly, and it honestly seemed just perfect for the kind of generous giving relationship that they still have to this day. Ice Cube has said that he didn't really know how romantic he was being, but he had wanted to get Kimberly a new BMW for her birthday. Kimberly was blown away at first, and then you can just imagine her reaction when she went to sit in the car and saw an engagement ring on the seat. Honestly, that sounds pretty romantic to me. The year they got married was also the year that Ice Cube released what is probably his best known song, It Was A Good Day. And Ice Cube has reportedly confirmed that the very spicy shadow on that song was to Kimberly's bedroom skills. So from that, you can guess that they've maintained a pretty healthy and passionate private life, which has kept them both happy over the years. It really just seemed like things just went from strength to strength from these two as they built a family. And Ice Cube also continued to shower Kimberly with gifts over the years. He says that a nice funky purse has been his go-to gift when it comes to Kimberly. But I think these little fun insights are great, but of course we know that that's not the real secret to their long and happy marriage. I think we got the real secret sauce when Ice Cube opened up about how their marriage had been a true partnership from the beginning. He said that he and Kimberly were friends first and still just love talking to each other every day like best friends to this day. Ice 
Cube also said that they have respect for each other and that he makes an effort to still be the partner that Kimberly wants to be with. I also loved when I heard that Ice Cube apparently still gets butterflies when he looks at Kimberly and that they never let their romance fade. I mean, he reportedly proposed to Kimberly again in 2017 to mark their 25th wedding anniversary, which is just super romantic. There was also another unbelievable piece of advice that Ice Cube gave that I think is just as important. And it might actually sound crazy to a lot of people. He reportedly said that freedom for yourself is one of those things he cared about the most in his relationship, which you might think means he wants to spend as much time as possible doing whatever he wants away from Kimberly. But I think he's really getting at the fact that two people have to give each other space to be themselves and to make their own decisions every now and then, which is not an easy balance to get right. I'd say this really shows you how much trust and understanding Ice Cube and Kimberly have. I also think it's great that they seem really supportive of each other. Ice Cube has even called Kimberly his backbone. He said that his longevity and success were down to the strength of his marriage and how supportive Kimberly's always been. And by all accounts, Kimberly has also been the most dedicated mother that you can imagine to their five kids. And reportedly, the kids are all doing well in their education and their careers because of Kimberly. And although Ice Cube apparently has been involved in raising the family too, he happily admits that his wife does all the cooking because she's simply the best cook. At the same time, he's provided wealth and security because of his huge success in music and film. And now Ice Cube paints a very happy picture of what their life together is like on a daily basis. He recently told interviewers that he and Kimberly really enjoyed walking up and getting a coffee together every day and planning their next business move which sounds like a pretty perfect foundation to keep their marriage going for many years. I just think their relationship is super impressive, especially because we've seen so many Hollywood marriages fall apart over the years. It just goes to show that with the right person and the right timing, a marriage can survive all the pressures of Hollywood and then some. But what do you guys think of Ice Cube and Kimberly's marriage? Did you know that they've been together for so long? Let me know in the comments.